Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman probably did not think he'd stabilize Lebanese politics when he challenged an oil and gas license. At a conference in Tel Aviv, Lieberman called Lebanon's awarding of offshore Block 9 very, very challenging and provocative conduct. Lebanese President Michel Aoun tweeted that Lieberman's words represented a threat to Lebanon and its right to sovereignty over its territorial waters. Israel claims part of Block 9. Contracts for Blocks 9 and 4, both won by a Total Any Novatech group in bidding last year, are to be signed February 9th. The blocks are on trend with deepwater gas discoveries off Israel. Lieberman's pointed commentary gave Ayun and Nabid Berry, the parliamentary speaker, common cause with which to ease a political rival rivalry otherwise headed for crisis. They hold two of three positions in a government in which the president must be Christian, the prime minister Sunni Muslim, and the speaker Shia Muslim. Long-standing resentment between Ayun and Berry escalated in late December when Ayun and Prime Minister Sa'ad Hariri issued a decree crediting 200 military officers for service during the transitional government Ayun led in 1988-1990. The decree apparently contributed to Hariri's decision to revoke the resignation he announced from Saudi Arabia in November. But Barry thought he and the finance minister, a political colleague, should have signed the decree too. He also might fear revival of cooperation between Christian and Sunni factions at the expense of Ayun's accommodation of Hezbollah, which received support from Iran. Hariri complained of rising Hezbollah influence when he resigned. Animosity between Ayun and Barry worsened recently when a video emerged showing a high-ranking member of the president's political group calling the speaker a thug. In what the Lebanese press called a de-escalation of tension, however, the antagonists spoke by phone on February 2nd and planned talks on how to respond to the Israeli Defense Minister's saber-rattling saber over Block 9. Historical note, the bid round, Lebanon's first, was delayed more than three years by contentious politics. I'm Bob Tippy, editor of Oil & Gas Journal, and that's the editor's perspective, which appeared first in text at www.ogj.com on February 2nd, 2018.